on Tuesday. Joining me now is Timothy O'Brien of Bloomberg Opinion, Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu of California, E.J. Dion of The Washington Post, and Natasha Bertrand of The Atlantic. Normally I'd start at the table, but I'm going to give the honorific to the congressman. Um, what do you make of the fact that according to the author of The New York Times and according to Bob Woodward's book, which both concur on this point, we essentially have unelected Wash White House staffers or senior officials in their own minds running the country instead of the president? Uh, good morning, Jory. Thank you for that question. I think what's important to take away is that they're consistent that Donald Trump is unfit for office. But I do disagree with the tactics of the senior White House official who is anonymous. I think what he or she should do is confront the president, try to get him to change. And if he doesn't, then he needs to resign. Because the way our Constitution is set up, it is not for a staff member to be a check and balance on the president it is for Congress. And unfortunately, the Republican Congress has been complicit for far too long. And voters this November can make a choice whether they want to change that. Do any of your colleagues on the Hill uh, come up to you ever and off the record say to you, we know that this is a problem and we're embarrassed that we're not able to do anything or not willing to do anything about it? Yes. And there is a very interesting blog post by a conservative writer, Eric Erickson, that came out last year. And he recounts a conversation he had with a Republican member of Congress who defends the president daily on Fox News and then had a conversation with him at a Safeway grocery store, unloaded on the president, said things I wouldn't even say. So it's very clear that we're all looking at the same reality. It's just that some of my Republican colleagues choose to lie about it. Let me play for you, Congressman, uh, the Vice President of the United States on CBS News Face the Nation this morning, uh, being asked about the op-ed, about discussions of invoking the 25th Amendment, a sort of Baker acting of the President of the United States. Take a listen. One of the claims made in the op-ed is that there had been discussion of invoking the 25th Amendment to even remove the president from office. Ha have you ever been part of a conversation about that? No, never. And why, why would we be? It, I mean, how alarming is it to you as a member of the United States Congress that that question is on the table to the vice president of the United States? Again, I think it is important to have a check and balance, so we need a real Congress that can do that. And the fact that some senior White House officials have had discussions about the 25th Amendment should really disturb many Americans. We are the greatest nation in the world, and it is just embarrassing to see the chaos at the White House. And I do look forward to reading Woodward's book when it comes out on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people.